All right, part 10, part 222, 222 use the locomotive warnings of the Public Highway Railway, Greg Costin, General Operational, Protection, per, Operational Practice Inspector, has been um, tasked with conducting inspection of the Title 49 CFR Part 322, uh, Public Highway, Grade Crossing, inspecting public crossings has an important impact on the public safety, employee safety, and nationwide knowledge of the regulation associated with the crossing inspection, new contact with the railroad within the inspected territory. In the case of the problem, are two essential elements of the crossing inspection. Inspection of the use of the locomotive horns of the Public Highway, Grade Way Crossing are important to the FRA safety mission. The train rule horn rule can be reviewed by the FRA website. The FRA did not download that safety. Her rule 2005 amended final ruling. Um, 0081706 PDF guidance. Operational pra practice inspector conducting inspections to verify the compliance with the train horn rule. Must the plan of the inspection observe the locomotive engineer locomotive consists of the individual locomotive sounded the train horn to approach the public highway railway grade crossing, including the observing whether the whistle is sounding with the lead locomotive occupies the grade crossing as verifies the uh, train and the marker of the rear car, car and the rear headlight illuminated with the locomotive consists of the required railroad operating rules of federal regulations. Inspectors should work with the region's grade crossing managers for the handling complaints of the non railroad routine grade crossing while in issuing. Inspectors should observe the flashing of the lights and gates of the function as intended for the crossing and equipped with the flashing lights and gates. Inspectors must report the condition of the damaged cross arm gates of the burned out flashlights directly into the railroad. Their regional signals will train control specialists. Inspectors should take a notice, notice of the condition of the cross buck and the crossing, noting the equipped with the flashlights and gates as the cross buck and signs of the damage to the beyond recognition of the ditch. Inspectors must report the condition of the damage to the cross buck sighted with the cr um, crossing and directly in the railroad. If the inspector called for the toll free telephone number the posted in the crossing, no one answered the phone call. The information should be noted to the inspector report. Also, all crossing a uh, potential work site of the train crew. The train crew may be relieved of duty in the crossover. The crew cro members may have the crossing under the circumstances if the inspector observed the old cross planks and the exposed with the crossing spikes other than damage. Debris near the crossing, the inspector should near should consider file, recording the non-FRA defective regarding the specific railroad safety rule on the inspection report. Suggested routine inspection report uh, um, example for the monitoring, monitoring the compliance with the train horn rule. Description: uh, Common to the railroad company 220O. Activity. I observed the Nebraska train leading the locomotive Nebraska 1234 south, blowing the whistle and ringing the bell with the headlight ditch and the headlights illuminated, approaching the main street crossing in the Centerville, Nebraska, U.S. dot number 123456A and MP91981.8 GCOR 58.2749 CFR 22221. 222, 22, um, when the purpose of the regulation, the purpose of the regulation is to provide with the safety and the public highway railway grade crossing with acquiring local of horn with the public highway railway Gary crossing except with the quiet, quiet, um, quiet zone established maintained in accordance with this regulation. 22221. Um, when the locomotive horn be used, the inspector should observe the locomotive horn and the, the locomotive of the train. The locomotive consists of the individual locomotive of the lead car. Cab car that signed with the locomotive, the lead cab car the approaching with the public highway grade crossing, signing the locomotive horn within two long blasts, one short blast, and one long blast, but should be indicated with the location in accordance with the regulation. The sequence should be repeated to prolong until the locomotive occupies the crossing. This pattern may be verified and necessary when the crossing are spaced closely together, except provided with the regulation, including the locomotive horn is defective, but the locomotive horn shall begin with the sound at least 15 seconds, but not more than 20 seconds before the locomotive injures the crossing. No, if this shall constitute the violation section, if acting in good faith, the locomotive engineer begins with the sounding of the horn not more than 25 seconds before the locomotive enters the crossing. The locomotive engineer is unable to pre precisely estimate the time of the arrival of the train at the crossing and any at any reason. The train locomotive consists of the individual locomotive train at the speed of the size of 60 miles an hour should not begin with the sound of, sounding of the horn one quarter of a mile in advance of near the public highway railway crossing. Even an advance warning provided with the locomotive horn will be less than 15 se seconds in duration. As stated with the statute 222-223, the section does not apply with the Chicago, Chicago Region Highway Railway grade crossing which the railroad were excluded, excused from sound locomotive horn by Illinois Commerce Commission and where railroads did not sound the horn on December 18, 2003. Train locomotives consist of individual locomotives that have been stopped in the close of the proximity of the public highway grace crossing, making an approach with the crossing sound of the locomotive horn less than 15 seconds before the locomotive enters the highway grade crossing. The locomotive engineer is able to determine the public highway railway grade crossing is not obstructed either. The public highway railway crossing is equipped with automatic flashlights and gates, and the gates are fully lowered. There are no conflicting highway movements approaching the public highway railway grade crossing statute 223. How does the reflecting again? How does regula regulation affecting sound of 
the horn during the emergency or, so, or other situation. Prior to taking an exemption, ex exemption of the train sounding of the horn in the quiet zone, inspectors should interview with the locomotive engineer involved. The railroad manager is practical. Determine if the locomotive engineer sound locomotive to provide with a warning regarding the animals, vehicles, operators, pedestrians, road workers, trespassers, crews are on the train to the perceived emergency situation. If the locomotive engineering soldier admit that the train horn needed to be sounded in order to prevent the imminent injury to death or property damage, then the FRA will generally accept the action as appropriate inspectors should work with the region and the raid crossing of the managers regarding the issues. Uh, note the regard that regulation does not employ, impose the legal duty to the sound locomotive horn in the situation. Nothing in the section restricts the locomotive horn in the following situation. When a wayside um, horn is malfunction, when the active, a active grade crossing warning device is malfunction, use the horn required of the following section 234, 105, 234, 106, 231, 107. When the grade crossing warning system are temporarily out of service um, during the inspection, maintenance, and testing of the system, when supplemental safety measures are uh, SSMs, and sa supplemental safety measures, modified supplemental safety measures, engineering supplemental, supplemental safety measures no longer comply with the requirements set forth in Appendix A of the Part 222 in the conditions we're going to name the Associated Administrator of the rail or, or for Railroad Safety and Chief of Safety Officer decision to approve the quiet zone in accordance with the state. Section with the statute 22039 B. All right, uh, 225. How does the rule affect the private highway grade crossing? The rule does not require the routine sounding locomotive horns of private railway highway railway grade crossing, such as found in the farmer's field. However, this where the state requires the sounding locomotive horn of the private highway railway grade crossing, the locomotive horn shall be sounded in accordance with the statute 22221. And 222.27, how does the rail rule affect the pedestrian grade crossing? The rule does not require the routine sounding locomotives at a pedestrian grade crossing. However, the state law requires sounding locomotive horn at the pedestrian grade crossing. Locomotive horn shall sound in accordance with statutes 222.21. Page left intentionally blank. Insert chapter here. And chapter 11, part 225, road accidents report classification investigation. And... We'll eat that later.